Let's go next to Cody from Hamilton. Cody from Hamilton, welcome to the live stream. What is on your mind? Hey, David, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, uh, I was just curious. Um, I heard some uh, recent European news. Uh, Turkey sounds like it might be blocking Sweden's ascension to NATO, uh, not Finland, just Sweden, from what I've heard. And I was curious if you have any thoughts on um, either of the two, or even, I guess, Ukraine and uh, our relationship with these countries and NATO. Well, I mean, I have I have general thoughts. I, I have to admit, I have not followed that particular element closely, so I wouldn't be able to weigh in on the Turkey uh, Sweden situation. But, you know, generally, my view is I, I want I believe that it is fair to say that it could be that the expansion of NATO could theoretically be interpreted as aggression. Right. This was a story that was big in the start of the Ukraine Russia fiasco. Um, but at the same time, it is, of course, within a country's right to want to join and to be evaluated and considered and repercussions to countries for joining seem completely unacceptable. Now, diplomatically, a country could say, we, you know, we are starting to feel as though we are being ganged up on because of the members that are joining it. I'm totally fine with that. That's a geopolitical discussion. But for the purposes of, of justifying military action, uh, I am not at all convinced that NATO membership would even remotely be a justifiable explanation for military action. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, just curious. Uh, thanks for taking my question. All right. Cody from Hamilton. Appreciate hearing from you. 